Three years ago, a dementia patient at the ADDC was murdered. Even now, Shinpei Okubo, the man convicted of the crime, pleads innocence. But Yagami's theory that this chain of events was set in motion by human experimentation for AD9 unveils the true culprit behind Emi Terasawa's death. Um, I'm gonna go discuss a few things with Ayabe-san. Yagami joining you? No, I'm going alone. Yagami-san, well, he may be keeping his distance for a while. He thinks the mole might target him, so he doesn't want to get us involved. You should watch your back too, Genda-sensei. Ah, uh, been a while since he's been this distant. <sighs> Knowing Yagami-san, he'll want to solve every single incident related to AD-9. And if he does, Maybe he can prove that Ayabe-san and Okubo-kun are innocent. Wearing Shinpei Okubo's name this late on? Yagami'd be a damn hero. I think he might enjoy that. Yeah, hero is hardly a big enough word. A legend is more like it. Don't get ahead of yourself, kid. The bugs in the Matsugane office are still working, just like I said they'd be. Good. Can you hear anything? Just small talk. Sounds like there are a ton of people in there. Hamura too? Doubt it. Everyone be on edge with him in the house. No chance of small talk. But Hamura's still gonna get in touch with him, right? Hmm. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? You're the one who said he'd be calling him. You don't gotta lose your shit over it. Where the hell is he? Guess all we can do now is sit here and wait till somebody spills the beans. Can you at least put that shit out? You're stinking up the whole van. <sighs> Fair enough. Oops, bad habit. Sorry, but you're just gonna have to deal. Anyway, you're serious about capturing Hamura, yeah? Yeah. He's our only chance of finding the mole. We don't get Hamura, we lose. Ayabe and Okubo are done for. I'm hearing you, but sitting crammed in this damn car ain't gonna help us nab him. Luckily, I have just the thing. We'll spy on them from the sky. Is that Higashi? Yup. Guy really thinks he's hot shit, huh? Guess he's moving up in the world. Maybe with Hamura gone, he's been able to relax a little. Hmm? He's leaving. I'm gonna follow him. Better to split up than I'll sit around in one place. I'll come with. My legs are getting sore as shit in here. So what? I'm stuck here by myself? I'll switch with you later. Promise. Hey, talk. You sure we can be out like this? Good point. Shono could be sending his assassin after us as we speak. <laughs> we could get attacked at any time. Huh. <laughs> Thought so. Where the hell's Higashi going? No clue, but he's alone now. We could just walk up to him and ask. 
You really think he's gonna listen to us? Haven't talked to him since our fight at that restaurant. Worst thing that happens is he says no. <laughs> Guess you got a point there. All right, let's give it a shot. What the? He's bolting. Why? What? You done running? I wasn't running away. <laughs> Not from you, anyway. Huh? I just couldn't let the family see us talking. Get it? So then you'll hear us out? Higashi! You fucking... He's not gonna run anymore. Just take it easy, kite this up. <laughs> okay, look. Captain Hamura is throwing everything he's got into catching the two of you. Whole family's got orders to let him know if you ever cross our path. Meaning, if you called him now, he'd come straight to us. And then what, huh? He wants you dead. You know that, right? Just tell me where he is. Nobody's told me. Honest. Listen, I'm not gonna rat about seeing you here. But if I were you, I'd consider getting out of town real fast. Bet Matsugani-san would agree with me, too. You know, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Should we take him up on that offer? Skip town, wait till it all blows over? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Just joking. Anyway, sounds like Hamura's got men looking for us. And they're out for blood. So what? What do you mean, so what? If they want to find us so bad, let them find us. Anyone who comes our way is in for a world of hurt. And once we capture him, we can force him to tell us where Hamura is. How are you so confident? They might kill us before we get a chance to fight. Maybe even gouge our eyes out. Then what? You want to just sit in the car with Sugiura in the non-smoking section? <laughs> yeah. That doesn't sound so good either. Damn right it doesn't. Now go walk around a bit. I'll be watching from behind. If you say so. Oh, and try and make yourself look like an easy target. How exactly am I going to do that? Beats me. I'm sure you could think of something. Yo, talk. can you hear me? Yep. Just go wherever and try to look vulnerable. I've got your back. Nice going, Talk. Don't you look weak as shit out there? You're like a baby sheep or something. How are you even doing that? Can you not? This is how I always walk. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And don't worry, you're in the clear for now. I hope you're watching. I am, I am. We don't know what's gonna happen next, though. You might want to grab a bite while you still can. Thanks for the heads up. Yo, talk. Can you hear me? What's up, Kaito-san? Those Matsugane assholes ain't biting. You might want to try looking even weaker. And how am I gonna do that? Hmm. Maybe if you tried getting drunk? <laughs> Not a bad idea. Guess I'll stop by Tender then. Talk. Sure. Hmm. 
Hey. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Talk. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Talk. took your sweet time in there. Did you forget the mission talk? Huh? You're supposed to be luring out Hamura's goons, not drinking with the fucking locals. Seriously? You're the one who told me to get drunk. Guess I did, huh? I'm sick of waiting, though. How about we just go bust into the Matsugane office? Think about how many guys they've got. We'd be fools to charge in there. Then... Oh, I got it. Uh-huh. Try going to one of the Matsugane clubs. And that'll help how? You just show up and tell them Yagami's here. Word will probably make it up to Hamura in no time. You know, that might actually work. Just point me to a club and we'll go from there. Let me see. Why don't you try Alvin over on Tenkaichi Street? All right, I'll head over now. Huh? What's going on? Didn't you hear what we said last week? I want a fucking answer today! <laughs> Please, it's not exactly possible right now. It better be fucking possible! With how fast your management costs are rising, of course your protection's gonna cost more! N no Tuck, those thugs are Matsugane. No doubt about it. Agreed. Maybe you should, uh, help or something. That guy looks like he could use a hand. You could at least try to sound interested? Just hurry up and get it over with. I think you've had enough fun for one day. Huh? The fuck? Wait, that's Yagami! The hell are you doing here? My question first. Why are you threatening the civilian? None of your fucking business! Ugh, watch the volume. Or is yelling the only thing a dumb guy like you can do? Oh, that must be why you're bottom of the ladder. It all makes sense now. You little... I'll slaughter you! Listen up. 
Go tell your precious Captain Hamra that Yagami was here. Got that? <laughs> Captain Hamra? Just do it. You know, Tak, this strategy's pretty solid, huh? Well, we'll find out soon enough. You know any other Matsugane joints, Kaito-san? We should hit a few just to be safe. Huh. There's Romance of the Three Kingdoms over on Pink Street. Fantastic Romance on West Shichifuku. And, uh, oh, Sweet Billow on East Shichifuku. All right, I'll try all of them. So, this is Romance of the Three Kingdoms? How about stopping in for a round, pal? We got the finest girls to satisfy any kink. Do you work here? Yeah, just come on in, buddy. I'll give you a great deal. This is a Matsugane place, right? Huh? What are you... I, uh... I don't want any trouble, man. It's not like that. Just tell your boss Yagami stopped by. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Just do it, okay? I gotta go. So, this is Sweet Billow, huh? Meaning the guy puffing away over there is probably an employee. Why don't you quit standing around and go find out? Someone's bossy today. Just do it, Talk. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you work here? I do. Why? Let me ask you something. This is a Matsugane establishment, right? Who are you? The name's Yagami. Don't worry, I won't stick around much longer. Just tell your boss I dropped by to say hello. And why is that? Look, just tell him, okay? I gotta run. So this place is fantastic romance. Huh? It's good to see you, gentlemen. No good to see you, me. You're late on your payment and you know it. I'm sorry, sir. Our sales haven't been the best this month. And work on your pitch. Just being open's not enough to bring in customers. Looks like you're right on time, Talk. Go on, introduce yourself. Yeah, sure. Excuse me, are you guys open? Welcome, sir, we... What the? Yagami! Oh, are you from the Matsugane family? It's good to see you. Who the fuck do you think you are, strolling up on us like it's no big deal? I want to see Captain Hamura. Know where he is? You little shit. Who do you think you're talking to? You're never meeting Hamura. Cause you're gonna die right here! <sighs> Satisfied? Ah, damn it! If you know what's good for you, you'll report this to your family. I'm out of here. Yo, it's Kaito. That was freaking amazing talk. Yeah, you think? Yep, absolute perfection. Hummer will have guys on your ass in no time. Just keep walking around town. Won't be long till they jump you. Got it. Yo, talk. Why don't you head somewhere with less people hanging around? Those Matsugane assholes aren't dumb enough to jump you with so many witnesses in sight. Where'd you have in mind? I was thinking the Champion District. The streets are so narrow there, they'll be more than happy to ambush you. Well, that's a scary thought, but okay. I'll head over now. Kaitasan. I swear it's like... Like I can feel someone watching me. Are you there? Use a hand here. I'm right behind you, buddy. Kaito-san. Come on, man. Why would you bring more? Get after him, talk. Make him cough up all he knows about Hamura. Got it. <laughs> You're out of options.
Hey, I got him. Okay, I know you work for Hamura. I want to know where he is. When he finds you, you're dead, Hiyagami. Is that so? What the...? You should really see the look on your face right now, Kaito. Hamura. gave you every chance to walk away from this. You just couldn't mind your own business, could you? And now you're gonna die for it. You pushed this one too far. Hamura. <laughs> Killing you is gonna feel real good. Is this really necessary? Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Okay. Don't you think? I've pulled enough of the family's weight already. Please don't. I don't care how much like sons these two are to you. Your loyalty is to the Matsugane family first. Besides, you know there's no other way. Are you out of your fucking mind? You need to lower the gun right now! No, Kaito! You shut your goddamn mouth! <laughs> I think we lost him. What about Kaito-san? Hamura shot him in the stomach, so we'd have to carry him out. After that, I don't know. Damn it. We gotta go after him. Hold on. How'd you know where we were? I was sitting in the van listening in on the Matsugane office. They all rolled out, so I followed. Do you know where Hamura's hold up then? Maybe they dropped a hint while you were listening. Hmm. I did hear them mention the Soleil building once or twice. You think that's where they took Kaito-san? Can't say for sure. He could be anywhere, really. But it's worth looking into. It sounded like Soleil's been abandoned for a while. We can second-guess ourselves later, then. Let's get moving. Sounds good. That's it. The Soleil building. Hold on. I recognize those guys out front. They're Matsugane for sure. Does that mean Kaito-san's actually in there? Hard to tell from out here. Looks like they're guards down, though. Guess we've just gotta bust in, then. The sooner the better. You ready, Yagami-san? Yeah. Let's do it. What the? Yagami! Hamura. <laughs> 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 Surprised you decided to stick around. 
Not gonna try to run? Go fuck yourself, Doc. Let him go right now. Ha. Huh. What makes you think you have the upper hand here? Kaito-san. <laughs> hey. He sounds worried. Oh, oh. You piece of shit! You asked for it. This time, let's finish it for real, assholes. That all? Just need a minute, Kaito-san. Sure, what's the rush? This what you want? I'm gonna fucking kill you! Is it over, Yagami-san? Yeah. Glad you're okay. Come give me a hand. How do you feel, Kaito-san? What, me? It was just a scratch. I'm good on my own. Still acting tough with lead in your stomach? Who are you trying to impress? Yo, let me jump in too. Higashi. Matsugani-san too. My van's right outside. You two get him to a doctor. There's something I still need to do here. Got it. Guess I'm joining your little party. Not even the threat of death can stop you guys. <laughs> Took you long enough. <coughs> hey. It's about time you give us some answers. I'm done wasting time on you, so just cooperate and it'll all be fine. <coughs> what, your murderer friend abandoned you? Not much use if he won't come when you need help. Boss, listen. Things are gonna get ugly if I die here. Neither of you will survive the aftermath. It's not too late to put a stop to this. Just end this fucker and be done with it. And if I don't, the mole will kill us both. Is that what you're saying? Look, some people you can get away with betraying. And some people you can't. And which am I, I wonder? Boss. Pick your poison, Hamra. You die betraying the mole, or you die defending him. <laughs> We're going to bring this murderer to justice. Now tell me where I can find him, and his identity. Answer me! I'd rather die. What? Don't play dumb with me. You think I'm gonna talk that easy? Pull the fucking trigger! If you say so. <laughs> huh. Didn't think you'd really stand your ground. <sighs> we can't stay here. Who knows when his backup might arrive. Are the Matsugani still after us? Most likely. Embarrassing as that is to admit. Well, guess we gotta figure out how to make you talk. Huh? Luckily, I've got a place in mind. You heard of the Honmaruen Cabaret? It's a Kyore stronghold. What? I'm sure your former prey will be thrilled to see you. If they can't break you, I don't know what can. I doubt you'll last, though. It'll be damn interesting either way. Now come on, let's go.
<laughs> Here he is, the man of the hour. Glad you could make it, Hamura. And you must be Patriarch Matsugane. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Though if you ask me, Dojo leadership should be better at keeping their dogs chained up. Agreed. There is no excuse for how I acted. Shioya-san, we're gonna make Hamura tell us who the Mole is. Think you can keep us safe till then? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. This is what Chairman Kajihiro wants. You don't want to disobey his orders, do you? Well, that's rude. I still haven't paid you back for what you did to me. If you don't mind, I'd like to settle that first. For what I did? You're the one who kidnapped Mafuyu. If you ask me, you got what was coming to you. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Under one condition. What? Once you're done with him, you give Hamura to us. <laughs> Gladly. What, no witty comeback? I think that's a first for you. Shut it! Get your fucking hands off me! <laughs> this is as good a spot as any. You need any... instruments. You just ask me. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Now, I think it's about time we got some answers. And you're gonna give them to us. Should we take it from the top? First off, the one in control of all this is Shono, the 89 researcher. How long have you been working for him? Murdering for him? I already have a pretty good idea. How about I guess? <laughs> First time you used the mole was... for Hashki, the vice director of the ADDC. He got beat to death six months ago, as you well know. <laughs> Hashki had a secret deal with Chairman Kajihira. Together, they were gonna poke holes in this 89 business and bring the ADDC to its knees. But Shono, the researcher in charge of the drug, had a big secret he needed to keep hidden. Hashki's little investigation posed a big problem. That is, until he got beaten down in the back streets of Kamurocho. Hashki was fatally wounded by the mole, but survived for another three weeks. That kept suspicion off Shono, and left practically no evidence. Only the most skilled killer could pull something like that off. In other words, the assassin you and Shono have been using. <laughs> Think you struck a nerve. You're a real crack detective, Yagami. You know, I personally funded his time at law school. He never would have passed the bar without me. No shit. I'd say you made a good investment. Paying off in spades. Uh, do you mind? I'm kinda in the middle of something here. Sorry. Sorry. So, where's your friend? No clue, but he'll be here soon enough. All three of you are dead where you stand. He says the mole's on his way here. Oh, is he now? I'd love to have a chat with the lad. Keep dreaming, pal. He'd wipe the floor with your backcountry ass. Enough, Hamura. Tell us who the mole is and how you started working with him. Have those instruments handy? Coming right up! All right, all right, I'll talk. That's almost a shame. I like when it's tool time. Now, who is the Mole? At first, 
He was just an informant feeding off the chaos that breeds in Camarocho like flies. An informant? Yep, and he was trained by one of the best in the business. Rose to prominence after the cops busted his mentor. And that made the mole the top guy in the biz. One of those situations where the student surpassed the master. Nobody could beat his intel. Could get his hands on anything you needed to. Guns, forged documents, you name it. Before long, we'd formed a nice little partnership. Started making a name for ourselves. Thinking about it, it's been about 20 years now. And? Keep talking, or it's tools. Once I got the gig as captain of the Matsugane family, I started relying on them even more. Let me tell you, the guy could dispose of a corpse like it was the easiest damn thing in the world. He had nerves of steel. And he's never even sworn up. Flash forward to a couple years ago, he said he was ready to start doing hits. That's when my... <laughs> Big chance finally came. Honestly, I wasn't that big on the whole murder thing. But the dangerous shit's what really brings in the cash. So, I started touting his services around the darker side of Kamaroto. <laughs> Felt like I added a new dish to my menu. This is no time for jokes, you fool. What, you don't approve of my methods? This city will swallow you whole if you don't got the cash. And protecting the family name doesn't come cheap. Huh. You think Kaido could have toughed it out with all his swagger? We'd have vanished by now. But with enough money, who knows? We could have rode it to the top of the Tojo clan. Wasn't that always part of the dream, boss? It was, yes. But not anymore. Ah, uh, that's so. <laughs> that's funny, because I spent my entire life chasing that dream for you! The goal you fucking told me to strive for! Let's get back on topic, shall we? Tell me this. You started shopping the mole services around. What then? What happened? <sighs> Wasn't long till we got our first hit. Our mark was Hashki, vice director of the ADDC. And Shono's the one who hired you? So I heard. He always contacted me through someone else. guy by the name of Ishimatsu. Short little guy. Always had this creepy fucking smile on his face. At the time, we all thought this was gonna be a one-off. Didn't do much prying, you know. Never even knew why they wanted the guy dead. We just took the 10 mil and did what we were asked. They wanted him to die discreetly though, right? Pretty much. So he did. Ishimatsu took a real shine to us after that. A few months later, he was back with another job. And that was? Well, gathering test subjects for their 89 experiments. And disposing of the bodies. So you just want me to abduct these Kyori guys? You don't want them dead? That is correct. And your reward is a hundred million yen each. <laughs> Real funny. Last time it was ten for a hit job. Why give us so much more to kidnap a few guys? <laughs> funny you should ask that. It could very well end up being more than just a few guys. We're not quite sure how many we might want. Perhaps just one. 
Or maybe even ten might not be satisfactory. Ten, huh? The key point is, we expect this to be a long-term partnership. Given the sensitive nature of this task, naturally we expect the utmost secrecy. I sincerely hope this 100 million conveys the importance of that. What about the Kyori guys? What happens to them, huh? It's unfortunately likely that they'll end up dead. Excuse me if this is presumptuous, but considering the amount I'm offering, would that also cover the body disposal? Or would that, uh, cost extra? Drop the fucking act, asshole! <sighs> Where are you getting that kind of money, huh? A hundred mil just to kill one goddamn Yakuza? <laughs> I actually never said you needed to kill anyone. I only requested that you bring them to us. And then... You would just dispose of the evidence. I don't see where this is going. You think the Yakuza are your tool? You don't understand. My only role is delivering the message. My employer, he's the root of all of this. And you have no idea how many billions of yen he has to ensure his objectives are achieved. What? If you pull that trigger right now, who knows how decisive the retribution might be. Those billions could instead be shifted toward erasing you. What was that? Just think about it. How long will you be able to survive? Use your head, Captain Hamura. Hmm. There's no escape. Once you agreed to meet with me today, you all but guaranteed your participation and your compliance. So I strongly suggest you put the gun away. Does that make sense? <clears throat> you guys are seriously that big, huh? Tell me more. Talk. Allow me to answer your question. It's true that we have access to vast amounts of money, yes. But we're not the violent organization you think we are. Oh yeah? Who are you? Ishimatsu's superior. The name's Ichinose. The only reason I'm choosing to show you my face is because I've decided to trust you. And because I want you to understand how far we're willing to go to bring our plan to fruition. My name's Shono, Captain. I'm currently researching a brand new drug called AD-9. A drug that could very well save Japan. Or, or, or maybe even the world, if... A new drug, huh? Where do I come in? The reality of the situation is, we are under intense pressure to complete our work on AD-9 expediently. To that end, Hamura-san. We'd like to ask for your assistance. Ichinose. So the Ministry of Health is in on this too. It goes all the way up. Maybe it does. Are you familiar with the Medical Institute? Yeah. It's home to the ADDC, and it makes a comfy place for all the health ministry execs to go retire. Well, it just so happens that the guy who founded it 20 years ago was none other than Ichinose. He rode that success all the way up to vice minister. In other words, his whole legacy's riding on the ADDC. AD-9's gotta come out on top for him to stay on top. And he's willing to murder to make sure that happens? Yep. Ichinose is not the only one profiting, either. There are tons of parties involved, all being promised this much cash or that favor. If people have to die for AD-9 to succeed, 
So be it. Here's a question. Why'd you go after Kyori guys for the experiments? Just following Shono's orders. Shono told you to? Yep. He said there was a chance of the subject dying when we gave him the 89. Now if regular old civilians started disappearing, that'd make the news in no time. But nobody'd notice a few missing Yakuza during a turf war. Only natural there'd be some casualties, yeah? I guess so. That wasn't the only reason, though. Shono said... <sighs> he didn't want to perform dangerous experiments on innocent civilians. And what, these Yakuza deserve this somehow? The Kajihira group was the one trying to shut down the ADDC to begin with. And the Kyore were Kajihira's lapdogs. A couple of dead thugs didn't weigh on him too much. But don't shoot the messenger. Shono's the one who said it. You'll keep talking if you know what's good for you. Unless you want to go back to the hard way, I'm all for it. What else could you possibly want to know? Actually, I've got one more thing. Oh yeah? You made it sound earlier like you weren't that involved in the killings. But that's not the whole truth, is it? In fact, I have something that shows you actively helped carry out the Kyore killings. Take a look at this. Check this out. Look familiar? It's camera footage of you abducting Kume. So tell me, why'd you take the fall? They even got your face on tape. You're not usually that sloppy. Hmm. <laughs> Answer me. That was right after we axed two Curie guys, one after another. They started catching on. Wouldn't go around town alone anymore. Keep going. When your mark's that on guard, nobody's laying a hand on him. Not even a trained assassin. So the mole needed a hand. Someone he could trust to get the ball rolling. And that someone was me. So what happened after you left Amor? My guy took Kume out the back. Loaded him in the trunk of a car, took him to Shono. Just like all the other AD-9 tests. To the ADDC? No, not the center. I'm not sure where it is exactly. Some place Shono and Mole set up. So they carried out their human experiments in some kind of... secret lab? Suppose they did. Then why'd they need to gouge the eyes out? No clue. He never told me. Maybe he wanted to make it look like a Yakuza killing. <laughs> or maybe the mole's just into some sick shit. Next up is Shintani. He had nothing to do with the Kyore clan, but you guys still used him as an AD9 test subject. Or was there some other reason you had him killed? Shintani's death. That was my fault. Huh? When we took care of Kume, I was the one on the hook for it. Let me tell you, ending up in the slammer for a murder you didn't do is scary shit. Made me think, wouldn't hurt to have some insurance. Insurance? Talked to Shintani before the trial, and told him this. If the pieces fall into place and I hang for this, look into Shono at the ADDC. So you told him about the deal you made with Ichinose? Not exactly. Shono was the only name I mentioned. But if anyone found out I spilled the beans to Shintani, well... I'd be betraying the cause. So I told the bastard, only go digging if shit really hits the fan. Why did he call Shono if he knew it was that important to you? Why'd he start digging it up? Beats me. Got a pretty good theory, though. You want to hear? Yeah, do tell. My guess? He didn't want to let you hog all the glory. Huh? He might have won my trial, but you're the one who found the key evidence. Shintani got recognition, sure, but it was only by association. Nobody said it, but they all knew. You did the real work. 
But even then, you didn't stop trying to show up the poor guy. Right when the trial came to a close, there you were, hunting the real killer down. How do you think Shintani felt, sitting around waiting for you to stumble onto the truth? <laughs> Can't imagine he was sleeping well. <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do you? Come on. The mole is way bigger than you know. Shintani wanted to find the truth before you did. Wanted to earn his time in the sun. And that's why he called the ADDC? To investigate the killings himself? That's my theory. Can't back it up, though. Either way, the end result was the same. Ichinose found out Shintani was trying to get in touch with Shono. Signed his own death sentence. I'm sure it was plain as day that I was the guy who put him on the right trail. So, I had no choice but to silence Shintani. I even paid for the job out of my own pocket. And when it came to setting up a fall guy, we picked Ayabe. First, we got his gun. The Mole was the one who used it to kill Shintani. He replaced the one bullet he fired, got rid of any traces that he used it, and put it back in Ayabe's holster. That meant that the bullet found in the body would have the rifling marks from his gun. Which meant it was an unshakable fact that Shintani was shot with Ayabe's weapon. Face it, Ayabe's alibi isn't gonna hold water. The guy doesn't even remember who attacked him, right? Nobody will buy that. Never. Fair enough. Although, what if we caught the mole and then forced you to testify in the trial? What's wrong? It smells like something's burning. What? <laughs> My boys must have finally decided to show up. You really want to meet the mole? Now's your chance. Lots of gunny, son. We gotta go. You too. Get up. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest you let me walk away, boss. If I give the order, the family will fall back. At least then you'd live. Isn't that what you want? That's enough! If this Ministry of Health business is true, you're nothing more than a pawn to them. From where they stand, I'm sure you can be replaced. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. You're an idiot, Hamura. Huh? Come on. It's the Matsugane. They went and started a fire downstairs. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Captain! Oh, Murase. How many they got? Captain! That's it, they're so fucking dead! Hey, how did you pull off turning my family into goddamn terrorists? <laughs> 